never get to slam this one, so I'm just going to do it now. Edmund loved sad songs. In fact, he collected them. Like some people collect stamps or baseball cards, he had Japanese pop tunes that made his heart ache. Mississippi blues riffs that squeezed tears from his eyes. Pakistani folk songs he could not begin to understand that made him bury his face in his pillow at night just thinking about them. And he wondered how the sound of a catgut bow drawn across the strings of a violin could conjure within him the forlorn thoughts of lost loves and dashed hopes, how warm breath blown over an oboe's reeds could drop him to his knees. And he wondered what those sounds had in common with the distant longing lilt of train whistles, the mournful wail of wolves howling, the wind in the tops of willow trees, the call of the loon. Edmund felt if he could isolate the roots at the base of all these sounds, he might be able to arrange them into a single chord, the playing of which would connect all the sad songs ever sung and all the sad songs ever heard and, and bring forth an unstoppable tide of glorious and well-earned tears. And one day, after much labor, he succeeded. And he organized a performance in a grand hall. And he invited members of the world press and encouraged them to broadcast the event simultaneously to all corners of the globe. And on the night of the performance, Edmund stood in front of his keyboard in a somber charcoal gray tuxedo and tails and a tall stovepipe hat. And he cleared his throat and he said very softly into the microphone, Ladies and gentlemen of the world, I now give you my gift, the chord of ultimate sadness. And the whole wide world held its breath. And Edmund brought his gray gloved hands down softly upon the keys. And there issued forth from speakers across the planet, connected to every radio station, to every television station, to every internet provider, pure and beautiful and complete silence. And fat laughing Buddhas with huge flapping earlobes danced waltzes down the cheeks of the whole wide world. And Edmund closed his eyes, lowered his head, and he smiled. Thanks. Thanks.